because Venera 8 revealed one last fact that was just too good to pass up. Even with the dense cloud cover, there was still enough sunlight reaching the surface of Venus to take a photograph. And if successful, that could be the first ever picture taken on another planet. For Venera 9, the Soviets made a fundamental change to the probe's design, and you can tell there's something different just by looking at it. The descent capsule itself has of course been beefed up yet again. We are now tipping the scales at nearly 5 metric tons, or around the weight of a fully grown African elephant. But the standout features have to do with a new landing procedure. Given everything that they now know about Venus, the Soviets want to keep their probe's exposure to the environment as minimal as possible, and they also learned that even after being dropped accidentally and plummeting hundreds of meters, the Nera 7 still managed to function. So what happens if we just drop the probe intentionally? And this is what's going on with those two rings, 